Welcome to episode 39 of the Bolton Wanderers Road to Glory series here on FIFA 17. Our lead at the top of the table is down to two points after a couple losses, one of those in the league. And we're out of the transfer window, so we'll be back up to a full complement of three matches in episode. And we're out of all the uh, cup competitions now, so basically 16 matches left in the season. Up today, we'll be away at Brentford, then home for Cardiff City before traveling to Reading. So we'll get the new year started off on the road at Brentford. Team that played us tough in our initial meeting this season. It was a scoreless draw. Of course, we've uh, sent a couple players over to Brentford since our uh, our time here at Bolton. They are in sixth. Uh, of course, Dervit is returned from his loan spell back to his home club. And we also sent Chris Taylor over earlier this season, although he's not in the 18 today. Our normal starting 11 there, uh, Pinamonti has made his way to the bench. Maybe he'll see a little bit of playing time. McLeod throws that in for Henry. Taken away by Harrison, he's hacked down. Of course, we made a move for Henry and uh, chose to go elsewhere, and he's gonna get a yellow card. Maybe a little upset by the fact that we didn't sign him on permanently. Of course, our new left back won't be coming in until the start of next season. But we're going to get a free kick here. Clough will set it up. Vela right on the spot. Wilkinson in behind him. Vela, oh, I hit the button for him to head that on. And he doesn't do it till a second late. Judge. Whoops, this one in, dangerous area, and it's gonna fall! Oh, Henry with a chance to punish us. The ball just bouncing loosely in the area. But he sends it sailing over, and that's a goal kick. Henry throws that in. Harrison does well. His defense has really, really improved over the past season. But that pass is blocked. He picks it back up, drops that back for Clark. Clark with Henry all over him. Vela, he's tripped up there. Play on, says the ref. Da Silva is going to play this forward for Wilkinson, who has time to turn. Lays it off for Clough. Clough's going to give it back. Wilkinson with the shot. Well blocked. It falls to Clough. He hits the crossbar. Colin picks it up. And it looks like they're going to get this away. Play it short. Just a couple minutes remaining here in the first half. Clark. Uh, McCormick does win that. Woods picks it up. Imrabat, Imrabati. Rabti. New signing there. Three minutes added on. That's going to fall to the feet of Clough. He's going to give it through to Wilkinson in between the defenders. And we've scored at the end of the first half. Connor Wilkinson picks up his 11th goal of the season and ends the the goal drought that we've been on the last few matches. Good enough to take a 1-0 lead in the halftime. Connor Wilkinson has been excellent for us since returning from injury. So we'll start off the second half here. Up 1-0, that goal from Connor Wilkinson there at the end of the first half, the Silva. Four for Van Bergen, pass blocked by McCormick. Clough is there to pick it up though. Gives it to Spearing, Spearing forward for Vela. He's gonna get it to Wilkinson. Oh, Dervit puts a foot in there and gets it away. Judge will take it across midfield, goes around one and that's a great pass there. Vi picks it up and just like that, Brentford have equalized. Goals on both sides of the halftime whistle. And an excellent pass right here. Probably should have slid it that with uh, Derek. And they make us pay. 
It's 1-1, plenty of time left. Who's gonna get a winner? McLeod throws that back for Henry. Oh, gets around one. Henry on the edge of the area. He's gonna lay it off for Judge, and he dinks it in, and he finds Rimbati at the back post, and that is probably to be one of the worst shots I've ever seen. Imrabti. I want to call him Imrabati or something. Marina plays that forward for Vibe. Vibe's going to lay that off for Sawyers. Pass is blocked. Villa's going to play it forward. Vandenbosch turns it upfield. Vandenbosch off for Wilkinson. Wilkinson going to take it out wide. He has the man. No, he's going to give it back to Vandenbosch who tries to slide it through. spearing has got the strength and he shoots it. How did he go wide? How did that go wide? So the captain missing an important shot there. But we got it back, Van Bergen. Still about five minutes remaining here. Chance still to find the winner, Vandenbosch. Derviet steps up to block that again. Sawyers out wide for Marina. Out to Henry, forward for Sawyers. Sawyers dances around one. Sawyers into the area. Sawyers and his shot is kept low. Svilar protects the near post. So it's a 1-1 draw on the road. We will take the point. Would have preferred to have three there. But more importantly, we broke the goalless drought that we were on. Uh, twice as many shots, 3-1 to one as far as on target. Man of the match goes to Zach Clough. Uh, 9.0. I believe he had the assist on the Connor Wilkinson goal. So we return home for the second match of the episode. The visitors from Wales, Cardiff City. This one was a 1-1 draw earlier in the season. They're not having a great season. 21st, they are 30 points back of us. Bournemouth, as you saw there, have drawn level with us. Same starting 11 as last match. As the scoring has apparently resumed for us. So Cardiff City playing in a 5-3-2 that's kind of given us fits here recently. The uh, draw versus Wigan kind of similar, and then of course Preston North End. Harrison. She'll send that over to Van Bergen. The Silva with the overlapping run to the outside. Cuts it back inside. Holds off the defender there. Plays it through for Spearing. He's going to give it to Clough. A little slow in receiving that. Clough drops it back for Vela. Pushes it wide for Harrison. Harrison, oh! And a tackle there that saves it. It falls to the feet of Wilkinson. And the deflection nearly beat Vargas, but he was on his toes. Richards served that ball in. Beavers wins the header, and it falls to James, but Sivar is up to the task. Throw it wide for De Silva. Bit of space there. Plays it for Van Bergen. Poked away by O'Keefe. James, a few minutes left here in the first half. Still looking for the first goal of this match. Richards plays a nice ball through. And that could be dangerous. And it goes to Clark. And oh, some deflections there. They're going to get a corner. Richards being chased down by Van Bergen. Oh, deflection there. They've got a lucky bounce. Sends it over the top for Richards. Can he get a cross in? He does. Oh, Beavers wins the header. Balls the defeated to Silva. And we'll clear that out for Van Bergen. About a half hour remaining here in the match. Still scoreless. Not a whole lot of opportunities for either side. Harrison back to Spearing. Defender right on his back. Plays that through for Wilkinson. Out wide for Van Bergen. Finds it through for Wilkinson. A nice turn on the defender. And Connor Wilkinson has scored. He's opened it up here. A half hour remaining, and that's back-to-back -back games. With the goal, his 12th of the season. He's got to be still amongst the leaders. 
Bolton. Keeper tried to get a foot to it, couldn't quite reach it. 1-0 Bolton. So Carta here on the road chasing that goal. Still around a half hour remaining to find one. Oh, Bella steps in to take that away. Clark quickly up to Harrison. Harrison looking to get it across midfield. Wilkinson. Defender on him. Oh, that was blocked. Hughes. Back for John. Up to Sadi across midfield. Spearing pokes it away. Bella's going to pick this up. Don't quite have numbers, but we do have them pushing forward. Wilkinson lays that off for Clough. Clough stops, turns it back inside to Wilkinson, and he's got his second of the game, and it's a 2-0 Bolton lead. Connor Wilkinson is absolutely on fire. And it appears that the goal scoring drought is completely over. Unlucky there for the goalkeepers. They hit it off his underarm. But too much power as he puts his second in the back of the net. It's 2 0 Bolton. De Silva, defender on his back, gets it forward for Bella. Harrison is out wide. Harrison, the defender is drawn into him. Connor Wilkinson, that's his third. He's got another hat trick. Three nothing Bolton. And Connor Wilkinson keeps up a great scoring run he's had. That makes, let's see, he has now seven of the last eight we've scored. And that should put this game away, 3-0 Bolton. Three minutes added on. Cardiff looking for a consolation goal. Derek will head that forward for Harrison. Quickly touches it up for Clough. Wilkinson looking for the overlapping run. Clough is going to push this wide for Harrison. Turns it inside, plays the ball through for Clough, who moves it on to Wilkinson. He has a chance at a fourth and a save from Vargas. So it's a 3-0 victory over Cardiff. And that three points will at least ensure we stay joint top with Bournemouth. We'll have to see what they did. Six shots, five of them on target, three found the back of the net. Wilkinson gets man of the match with a perfect 10 course he had the three goals and assists going to Harrison Clough and Van Bergen his striking partnerships but we're on the road to finish off this episode at Reading who we drew 1-1 with earlier in the season so an episode where all three that we are playing we drew earlier in the season Bournemouth drew their game as well so we have a two-point advantage at the top a 4-3-3 from Reading. Of course, our old keeper, Ben Amos, who never played a league game with us since he was on loan last season and we traded him away earlier. And then uh, Danny Williams in midfield, the American. One change in the lineup for us. Pina Monte getting the start in for the captain, Jay Spearing. Uh, just want to get him some playing time and get used to him before next season starts. Reading get us started off here. There you go, all the way back to Machine. Evans. For Behrens. Has a man out wide. Hurtado. Behrens. Back to Hurtado. Overlapping run there. Oh, the two, two run into each other. Hurtado, nice dribbling there. Behrens gives it back to Hurtado. He's going to send a cross in. And Williams, and it's off the top of the crossbar and out for a goal kick. Clark will throw that back to Derek. Forward for Pinamonte. Might have to just call him by his first name. I think we'll call him Leo, I believe. Wilkinson turns it upfield, gives it to Clough. Clough pushes it over for Harrison, and Jack Harrison opens up the scoring 19 minutes in. It's only his second goal this season. But we take the lead over the home squad. 
And our fifth goal of the episode. Definitely an improvement over what we've had the last couple episodes. Hopefully we can keep it going here. one nothing Bolton. Sends that in. Williams' header is straight at the Fetus Vilar. No problem there. Just over a half hour in. Da Silva. Forward for Van Bergen. Wilkinson. Looking there. Clough. He finds Vela. Vela has a shot, and it was well blocked by Machine. No telling where that was going. We're going to get a corner. Going to be whipped in. Oh, and cleared off the line by McShane. Vela keeps this in. Van Bergen. He's going to send in another ball, and we're going to get another corner here. Ten minutes left in the first half. Not sure who had that shot, but it was heading towards the bottom corner. McShane cleared it off the line. And we'll see if Van Bergen can't serve up another good one here. And it's headed towards Derek and cleared off the line by Obita this time. And why did Vela touch that? They'll be hosting Burnley. Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters. Moore gives it to Evans. Get excited about it. I am as well. Under five left to play here. Redding still looking for a goal to equalize. Evans plays a nice ball through. Eamon. Back for Edoti. Pinamonte right on his back. Beavers tries to clear it away. Clough turns it upfield. Runs straight into Danny Williams. Plays the ball through for Idioti. Idioti plays that over for Evans. Evans gives it to Williams. He turns and he fires a shot. Sleevar gets down to protect it. Four minutes remaining. Or four minutes added on. Van Bergen, time to turn it upfield here. Play that forward for Wilkinson. Wilkinson poked away by Moore. Wilkinson picks it back up. Plays the ball through. That's going to be cut off by McShane. Amos is just going to clear this towards midfield. Clark steps in to win it. Plays it forward for Wilkinson. Plays the ball out wide for Van Bergen. Van Bergen turns it inside. Van Bergen with the cross and play on. Wilkinson's header saved by, McSh by Amos. And Clough is there to put it away. Ten minutes into the second half, this was a foul right there as he's hacked down in the box, so it should have been a penalty anyways. But Clough is there to put away the save from Amos off Wilkinson's header. Clough picks up his eighth goal of the season. It's 2-0 Bolton. So Redding chasing two now. Still have plenty of time here, 35 minutes to be exact. Vandenberg just come on for Danny Williams. He's been their best attacking threat this, this game. Not sure why they'd want to take him off. Vela takes that off them. Plays it out wide for Harrison. Forward for Clough. Clough's going to slide this through. Van Bergen, he's in behind the defense and a chance. He fires a shot, but Ben Amos comes up with a save. So it's a corner. Harrison to take it. Sends this in towards the dangerous area. But the header falls out to Vela. Poked away by Hurtado. Derek turns well on the defender. Derek, the center back, gets his first goal for the squad. I don't think he had one last season. It was a great turn there on the edge of the box. And what a finish from the center back. Just fires it in. Amos could do nothing. It's 3 nothing Bolton. So a 3 nothing victory to finish off the episode. An episode that saw us gain 7 of a possible 9 points. But more importantly, the goals have returned.
You see, we outshot him by four, and four more on target. Three finding the back of the net, but Clough gets man of the match with a 9.5 rating. Goals were spread out for Harrison Clough and Derek, and the lone assist goes to Clough, deservingly the man of the match. But that will be all for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, I encourage you to hit that like button. Subscribe and tell a friend if you haven't already. I'll see you next time.